call for a sprinter van out at Babylon Mill, the old uh, the old mill site. Um, they're down by the river in the sand and uh, just heading there to see if we can get them out. I've got Ed. Yeah, I'm the cameraman. Hey, there you are. My Say hi to the camera. The GPS coordinates that they sent us but they weren't there and find them anywhere so trying to get a hold of them and see if they can get me some better information about where they are so they might be up by the Sand Cove trailhead we're gonna look up there so the GPS coordinates definitely off um, she did give me some good information that She's really close to the Babylon Arch Trailhead, which is a totally different direction. So we are headed there now. I'm not sure where those GPS coordinates came from, but they are, they have misled us for a while. <laughs> so this is a big part of off-road recovery is trying to find people that don't know exactly where they're at. And, uh, there's a lot of roads they could be on. They should never leave the vehicle. Yeah, <laughs> don't leave the vehicle. Anyway, uh, that detour that we took down to Babylon Mill, down to the old mill site, you know, that added almost an hour to this recovery. So we're kind of hustling to get to the real spot now. Hopefully they get, we've got good information. So they said they were at the Babylon Arch Trailhead or near it. So that's where we're headed. So I think they're up there at the base of that mountain somewhere. So we are... In a drone or field glider. Yeah. We're gonna go find them. the place for a sprinter van and they are in trouble looks like yeah I don't think you'd have got out without some help <laughs> yeah it's uh when, once I dug out, uh, it started to feel like it was going to give a little traction, but I just didn't want to make it any worse. Yeah, yeah, we thought you were down by the river. Oh, yeah. We looked at that hill there and said we can't do it, and I, I started to turn yeah. around here, and then just dug in.
stay in there. Apparently their dogs aren't friendly. them with because we had initially had some bad information as to where they were we eventually did zero in on them and got them turned around not not a great place for a vehicle like that yeah there's not too many roads out here where a sprinter van is a good choice we had to keep the dogs in the Jeep because pretty mean. Max is really really disappointed what about you lady So lady, she's the border collie and she came to live with us. She was at the pound and nobody wanted to adopt her because she smiles. She is a grinning dog and she shows all her teeth when she's happy and she's excited to see you. So she's a really friendly dog. She meets, you know, hundreds of people a week and she's just a really good dog. She's really smart. And then Max came to live with us. He was at the pound too. I'm not sure why he was there. He's not as smart as Lady, but he's pretty sweet. Aren't you? <laughs> 